Alright, hey everybody, this is HackerX, second video of the day. I wanted to repost my hexiting video because last time I was really inexperienced, really didn't have any idea what I was doing. But now I have learned quite a bit and I wanted to show you guys. And there's like no hex editing tutorials on YouTube, which made me really mad because I had to learn it by myself. So because I learned it by myself, it took a while, a lot of hard work, blah blah blah. But now I figured I'd show you hackers because... I figured you guys are probably trying to learn this too. Now, not only is this just for hacking the apps, I mean, even Xbox game saves use hex editing. Like, what you can actually do is you can edit game saves on your phone by using hex editing. But I've run into a little snag there. It's just an idea I had because of the way it's, it's complicated. I'll talk about it later. Anyways, once you're in the app, like, you selected the app, data.data.com, dot whatever app that you're looking for. And most of the time, it's in shared preferences. If not, I'll show you the secondary way. Anyways, the reason I picked this one is because... Advertisement. Um, it took me a second to realize, not, your app may have less, more, or maybe even none shared preferences. But, um, I really just look through the ones that seem realistic, like app settings. Obviously, nothing's gonna be there. But, like, you know, just pick reasonably. And when I found this one, I looked through the code. Alright, so on the right here, we got some words. Thank God. In the middle, we got a whole bunch of code. On the left, we got our offset. Now, if you go through, it'll say integer, name, roller coaster, monster, high score, value equals zero. Now, you may think... Alright, so, where, where's that? So what I randomly discovered on accident is I actually highlighted it. And I highlighted 3 and it showed me that. And I realized, well, why is the 3 not popping up? And then I highlighted the quotations. And it showed up as 22. So I realized quotations equal 22. Alright, well I guess that makes a little bit of sense. I guess. And I looked right here, there's 22 on this side, and 22 on this side. And that encased three zero but only th zero is popping up so i tried changing it to ff it crashed i tried changing it to nine nine it crashed but you have to have the zero the, the three in the beginning the second number zero can be changed which i kind of learned by myself it's a must anyways so i scrolled through i thought i was gonna find nothing you know high score high score you know it's listing all the integers but after lots of scrolling in, on the left side, on the offset, 5e60. You can use this to skip to the address if you're doing if you're doing this app, 5e60. Now, I'm doing something new. If you list an app in the description below, and if I if I can hack it, I'm gonna make a video. If not, then I guess I'll tell you why I can't and why and an idea of how to how to do it. Also, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, so now that we're here, I finally found integer name coins value equals zero. I don't like that number zero. So what we're going to do is we are going to delete this zero, cut it out. And in between the 22, 22, the quotations, you're going to use this little pasty block thingy. And you're going to choose how many, how like sizable it is. We'll pick 10 and we're going to fill it by the number 39 or whatever number you want. You know, it's up to you. you. Gotta get it creative with yourself. So now we're gonna pick the value in between right here. 22's on this side, 22's on this side, piece in the middle. So now you have that really cool value right there. Now we can save the file. And, you look, and um, if you look right there, it says save file as. You can create another copy. You can upload the hacked version. And be cool to all your friends or whatever. So we're gonna open up Hillclimb Race. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Exactly what I would say. If the app does that after you edit it and you're like, what? What? The reason this happened is the integer that you entered was too big. 10 was apparently more than it could handle. 9 is more of its handling range. But if it still does the whole crashy thingy, feel free to just lower the integer and enter. Um, I'm going to upload like, another video today because I have been really, really like slow on videos i have no idea what to post anymore my main problems were shell commands hacking apps and you know there's that and as you can see we have almost a bajillion coins 
We are going to buy, I don't know, what's, what is this? This one, yes. Anyways, that was my small tour on how to hack these. But I also said I'd show you where the secondary, um, a location might be. So, again, before I do that, we're going to backtrack even more. Out of the shared preferences, if you look in the, um, words, use them, wait, not this one, wrong, okay, um, if you download Root Explorer, Root Browser, any kind of, like, browser to, like, browse your installed files, it has to be able to use Root. Anyways, you're gonna go to your, um, back, data, that app. If you want to learn a little more about the code, you can go through. We'll find thing. Here we go. You can click on and click view. And you can like view the classes. Or what I, what I like to do, I like to go to the rest drawable folder and check out some of the um, pictures that are over here. Because I like to see how they use it. Because when I make my. Whoa. What? Anyways, I like to make my own. I'm like making my own app right now. And I have problems with making the character not look like a rectangle i have to have it just like cut around but i don't know how to do that anyways i like to go through experience with this a little bit of the code but enough with that you guys are looking where the secondary might be that might be on the back sd card like okay again this is just a, like kind of what i can do i guess android data Fingersoft. Most apps don't have it stored here, like very rarely any. But um it's good to check here just in case. If not, then I doubt it's gonna be able to be hackable here. So I had Temple Run here and what happened was you had game data dot text and you could not edit it because of hash code. And I am not too experienced in that, so when I have to figure that out, I'll tell you guys about it. Um yeah. So, blah, blah, blah. that was my tutorial on how to hex edit. It's actually not that hard. It's really simple. It works for like all the client side of games, such as like Flappy Bird, Hill Climb, I guess, obviously. Um, Timber, you know, all kinds of like, the, like even Smash Hit, you can hack that. So, as of that, I say goodbye, my hackers. Have fun hex editing. Make sure to experience it yourself. Check other files, see what you can find. The only reason I know this is experiencing by myself. I had to spend a lot of hard work doing it. And now that my now I know and now I can like help others. And it's really awesome when you guys comment thank you or like you did good or even saying what I did wrong so I can help you guys. Like I love to learn and help people. Because when I first started it was so hard. I wanted to give up, but I decided to keep trying. And it paid off. So long boring life story. <laughs> Peace out, problems, comment, please like, subscribe, or even just commenting would be great. All, every, anything is great. So, bye!